Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2011 Honda Accord that we have on the lot. It is in pearl white. Take a look at it here. You see it has fog lights. Overall, really nice car. It's one of my personal favorites here. I know it's kind of windy today, so hopefully the wind won't interfere with the camera too much, but I know it will. It does have the alloy wheels, four-wheel disc brakes. Has the V6 with the dual exhaust. I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk. Alright, trunks has like a cargo mat back here. Seats do fold down. You do have a CD changer back here. Cargo net. Let's see what else we have. There's your spare tire. Pretty good amount of room, and I really like this cargo net. Keeps everything from getting messed up. Keeps the trunk in perfect condition. You see, it has a backup camera. There's a lens right there. Of the back door you see it has a really nice pocket there nice wood grain accents leather stitching here in the door nice leather seats and I like that wrinkle effect they have on there keeps it from I don't, I'm not sure why but it looks really neat this folds down like that you got some cup holders and armrest and a little door to access the trunk. Got your rear vents there. Here's the inside of the front door. You got a generous pocket there. Side mirror controls, door lock controls, window controls. You have two presets here. You have the power seat. Go ahead and hop in. Really nice looking car. Really comfortable too. Has plenty of room. Plenty of headroom. Seats comfortable. Leg room is perfect. I'm about six feet tall and you know it's it's about perfect for me. pocket there all right well, I guess we'll start on the steering wheel you have a uh, voice recognition button right here a back button Bluetooth is where you answer your phone hang it up and uh, here's your volume for your radio you can change the stations here cruise control is on that side now there's your gauges pretty easy to read I'm getting a little bit of sun glare right now, but it's that time of day. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. Car has a little over 30,000 miles, 33,000 miles. It has a traditional key, but it does have uh, to where you can unlock the doors, lock the doors with it, stuff like that. Open the trunk. Now let me turn the fan down because it's going to interfere with the camera. There's a screen here, a pretty good sized screen. Right now it's kind of 
the way the sun is is kind of shining here and making a little bit of a glare but it's pretty bright and you can see it pretty good but the camera is not picking up that great right now it's in the menu you have a menu mode you have an information mode There's a navigation, it does have navigation. And also I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera. And I wish it wasn't much of a glare. The glare is really getting in the way. I mean, I can see it pretty good with my own eyes. There's a pretty good amount of glare, but um, the, you know, the, the camera's not picking it up like it should, the way it looks in real life anyway. So you have your clock there and your um, different information as far as like what station you're on and also your climate control on the sides there. It does have dual cl climate control so you can control it independently for the, the driver here and the passenger there. And then you have uh, your, this button is for your, your screen for navigating through your menu system. This is for your volume. has a really good has a premium sound system sounds pretty good does have XM radio so here's a CD a, a, a CD player it does play mp3s and uh, Windows media audio now it says six compact disc changer now I'm assuming that's what it's, it's talking about in the back. Usually, I hadn't tried it, so I don't really know, but yeah, I saw that changer in the back and then, I, and then it says six compact disc changer. So I wonder if you can actually put six discs in this one or you have to put them in the back. I'm not really sure. I don't know, if anybody, if anybody knows, then uh, you can tell me, leaving information in the comments, because I'm not really 100% sure what that means. You got a storage pocket there. There's power supply. Storage pocket there. Do you have heated seats in the front? There's the controls for those. There's your shifter. Cup holders are here. You can close it down. The parking brake's there. You have an armrest. Lifts up. And you have a 12 volt power outlet as well as an auxiliary input and a USB port for playing stuff on your radio. There's your glove compartment. It does not come down slow, so it just flops on down. And it's kind of heavy. Up here you have an auto dim rear view mirror. Up here you got tap lights and place to put your shades garage door controls and for the sunroof you can open it up you can vent it stuff like that and if you don't want to use it you can just close the shade and it's like it's not there Visors have mirrors and lights. Same thing on that side. Let's see what it looks like back there. All right, let's take a look under the hood. There do you have it.
If you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.